So in the previous video, I said that there would be 250 million dead Americans in a case of a nuclear war. And that however good our defenses would not stop this scenario from unfolding. So first of all, let's think about uh, what goes on, you know, during nuclear war. The Russians are very likely, let's say we fight only against Russia exclusively. So the Russians would send 500 missiles and they are not that easy to, you know, to target them when they are in outer, near outer space. In addition, they would release MIRFs, multiple re-entry vehicles, you know, before they would, before they would enter the Earth's atmosphere. So already the mirrors would be coming at us from near outer space. So let's say they send 500 rockets, each tipped with 10 warheads, of which two are real nukes and eight are decoys. So that means 5,000 warheads coming at the United States. Okay, of which thousands, thousand warheads are actually tipped with uh, nukes, uh, nuclear. So let's say that we shoot down two and a half thousand, 2,500 of those warheads are getting destroyed or brought by decoys deep away from, you know, from the coast of the United States. So let's say we deal with two and a half thousand, that's half of all the warheads. And we also, by proportion, gonna destroy half of all the nuclear tipped warheads. So out of thousand, we're gonna destroy 500. We still get hit with 500 nukes. Okay, well, let's assume they are between, each between 350 kilotons and one megaton. So pretty much we get destroyed. And our estimate in a case of nuclear war is that near immediately, they're gonna be 100 million dead Americans. However, you know, because as I said in a previous video, our infrastructure is uh, non-existent when it comes to the nuclear war and our preparedness is also non-existent when it comes to the nuclear war, when it comes to ordinary people, not the elites. So, uh, you know, within the first few weeks, because of radiations, because of uh, fallouts radiation, we're gonna have 100 million more dead. And then, because we have so many sick people, you know, the medication and hospitals all gonna be destroyed. At least for a year, there's gonna be no new production of medication. We're gonna, uh, you know, suffer probably 50 million more dead. So the total amount of dead during nuclear war in the United States within first year, gonna be most likely 250 million. And afterwards, situation doesn't get rosy. Let's say that uh, the, the fallout and the burning and the ashes black out sky only for one year. And somehow the survivors survive of canned foods and other things. What age? human consumption canned foods or animal consumption canned foods, somehow they survive. And then they plant seeds and grow, uh, you know, crop, and they eat pretty much vegetables. You're not gonna be able to afford any animals. So uh, you're also gonna have problem with things like vitamin B, depletion in human bodies. So uh, pretty much, you know, the government should have storage, huge storage of vitamin B, long expiration date vitamin B in a case of a nuclear war. That's one of the, you know, most important things. Uh, so let's say we grow them. It's gonna take for the first of the, if I remember correctly, for the first of the elements that's gonna go into poison the soil with radiation, it's gonna take 25 or 30 years for the half-life. So we're gonna have very high cancer rates within first 30 years. And then we're still gonna have significantly increased cancer rates 
for like 120 to 130 years because the second element if i remember correctly that's gonna go into the soil and poison it with with radioactive fallout gonna be uh you know uh, gonna take 120 to 130 years so it's gonna be extremely miserable life almost not life worth living so since you know we're gonna have such a huge casualty rate 250 million within first year it begs a question it begs a question shouldn't government prepare us at least in the areas where you cannot survive like where i live in linden where i used to live elizabeth new york city shouldn't government prepare us and uh, distribute you know something that would put us to sleep so we would die easy instead of die suffering because the government the corporations and the public failed and uh nothing has been done to get ready we're absolutely not ready except for the elites of course could we be ready what if it doesn't happen tomorrow what if nuclear war happens a decade or two decades from now we could be more ready of course but it would take strategic thinking to do it and it would involve corporations number one always remember talk to corporations and then when you get corporations to put pressure onto the politicians from above then you move second prank attack two prank attack like during World War II, you know two prank attack you know then second prank of the attack goes towards you know you writing to the politicians so then corporations and you work together to get politicians to do something great for the public so what things can be done first of all we can have better you know nuclear blast slash nuclear fallout shelters within cities we can also give tax breaks to people who build a brick and and or concrete houses with subterranean basements we can uh you know make certain that those basements and those uh, fallout shelters have at least two weeks of at least water because you cannot survive within water w without water without water we can also you know get the pharmaceutical companies to work on and manufacture long expiration date medications and uh we would we, we could we could get the corporation and us to put pressure on politicians so they would allow they would allow us to have at least in a case of semi-permanent condition let's say half a year and in a case of permanent condition a year worth of long expiration date medication stashed away for emergency you know you would have to buy it with your own cash so it wouldn't be maybe universally available but at least it would be available and uh, you know what happens let's say it would be issued you would be able to buy it let's say in increments of up to 13 okay weeks worth of it 13 packages each two weeks worth of it so 13 times two weeks 26 weeks in a case of semi-permanent condition and in a case of permanent condition you would be able to buy 26 packages each with two weeks of medication worth of 52 weeks so pretty much half a year and a year and uh, you know it's possible you know you never know what's going to happen you cannot predict it but at least some limited production of pharmaceuticals probably could start within a year of a main nuclear attack there's of course you know more grim possibilities than just regular one-time nuclear strike you know there can be secondary strike within a month and they can be a tertiary strike within a year or the enemy may pepper the bombs with cobalt and then it's pretty much unsurvivable because i think it's going to take something like five years for the area to become livable again and even if they're going to be only one single big nuclear attack then some areas gonna have so much overlap of nuclear radiation that they're gonna be unlivable anyway like for example new jersey 
if you look at people predicting which areas gonna get hit with nukes every single area in new jersey gonna be covered by overlapping either two areas of nuclear fallout uh, at least two areas of nuclear fallout or three areas of nuclear fallout so extremely intense ionizing radiation new jersey even if we do it right even if we fix our infrastructure and our way of thinking even if we provide people with medication it's still gonna be pretty much unsurvivable in a case of the nuclear war but you know if we do get ready then you know you probably should try to survive so uh, you know with these words i'm gonna end my video and uh, it's not video about saying how bad things are it's video about saying what can be done what should we do to improve situation now because everybody want to always say everything is so great everything is so beautiful until there is there is an emergency and then everybody's like why we haven't done it why we didn't do it and everybody's angry well let's be you know proactive instead of you know regretful and with this i'm ending my video and have a great day